There's nothing quite like the sound of a shrine in a cave. I'm losing my mind. It's fine. Okay, not really. Um. Wow. They are really joyful, aren't they? Also, I just noticed that my mic is... Hold on. My mic was twisted. I didn't notice that it was stuck like that. That probably affected the sound, me having to untwist it. It's all... It was all fucked up. Yeah, I didn't notice it was like that. Oops. My bad, I guess. Alright. Son of a bitch. Not only that, this uh, controller I have, I've had for a long time now. It works, but when I try to go turn to the left, it's slow because the left... The camera joystick's broken. And it sometimes likes to turn to the left by itself. So when I try to turn to the left, it goes slow and I, it goes slow and I have to fight it to spin faster. Because uh, sometimes it'll try to turn by itself. That was probably dumb of me to run in here like this. I mean, I'm not worried about it, but that was stupid. Wonder if I should use any healing items or just chill out. That was dumb of me to just run in there like that though. Yeah, when I try to turn to my left it's slow, like it'll lag. Like it'll stutter, the joystick will just get stuck, see like like it's doing right now. I'm pushing it and it's stuck. I had got me a new controller. Problem is, is that it's like a generic manufactured one. And it's not an actual Sony controller. It was like this generic one. It's even light. Because an actual Sony controller has weight to it when you pick it up. And the one I got off Amazon for like $38 or something. Um, it's really light. It, feel, it feels just like a flimsy ass piece of plastic. I may hate to say it like that, but that's literally what it feels like. Um, it's really flimsy, and the, my mics that I got, the Sony mics, um, doesn't work with the controller. Like, my voice will sound warped, and it, and it like, even cuts me off sometimes. I mean, I have a backup spare controller, and it works perfectly, it works fucking fine, but, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work with the controller and I haven't really been able to figure out why I even had did a test with it uh, I think it's in one of my Sovereign Supporter videos where I was playing Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends and I was testing it out in that entire video um, I don't know what's wrong with it either I don't know if it's because it, it's trying to see if it's picking up sound and I guess if I'm not constantly talking it'll just randomly cut the sound off um, I don't know, I like these mics, it's the only way I can do my videos, but there are some times where they just don't last me well. I have two. This is one that I had bought. Um, so this is like a... I have another backup mic, but these mics don't last me long. Um, I try to take care of them the best way I can, honestly, and I don't know what it is about them. They just... Uh, they just don't last for some reason. It is actually uh, very bizarre. Um, but anyway, so I haven't really played this game in a long time. Probably mainly because I had completed everything in the game already. 
I already 100%ed something. There's some missions that I haven't completed, like on different difficulties or what have you. Um, so that's another reason why I haven't actually uploaded anything. I'm a little distracted because I uploaded a, a, vid a video in the background. And I'm trying to upload it. Because these videos don't really get viewed much. Um, so. Some people do like my Neo videos, but I haven't really heard anything from anybody in a while. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Because I uploaded an hour duration of the background music that you hear right now. It's kind of like loading music, but it's not really loading music. That's why I was trying to decide on what I had wanted to call it. Because it's just the music for the background on this stage. Um, but it's kind of like loading ambient music is what I decided to call it. But I don't know what you would call this music in the background. That so that was originally I was going to call it dungeon ambient music. Because it, it does, because I'm in a, I'm in a cave for this stage. And it, to me, it's like dungeon, you know what I mean? Like, uh, dungeon background ambient music, kind of like you would hear, like, in Legend of Zelda or something. Um, but I just called it loading ambient music. Um, I think I might go back and call it dungeon, though. Dungeon background, uh, ambient slash loading ambient music. It's the same song for the loading when you're loading a stage. It's the same, but that's the, the it's not even really music. It's just background sound. Um, and it's consistent because it was on my loading screen and I can also hear it while I'm playing. So that's what I decided to call it. So I'm trying to be careful too with the title. Um, so I'm, ha I'm always having a hard time with this crap. Like, always, always with this. Um, I don't know, I always have a hard time deciding on what I want it to be called, you know what I mean? It's, it's always just like that. I think people would know what I mean. Like... It's just the way that it is. Give me just a second here. Um, so... There's actually a trophy, I believe, in the game. If you go through it without using any of the shrines, without using a shrine once. Um, and I kind of screwed that up. Hold on just for a minute. Alright. What I should have did too is I should have screenshotted it. The background for this stage. Hold on. Okay. And I try to upload music every once in a while, like the background. Um, I don't know if other people really actually like that. Um, some people like it, some people don't. It, it's kind of this or that. It's just, it's hard because there's not really too many songs in this game. Um, I originally did have a soundtrack compiled, but what had happened is the person who originally had all of that stuff uploaded before me, um, they, they deleted it. I don't know what happened to the person, if they got hit with like a copyright thing, or I don't know what happened. I had music for all of Neo. Um, and I think something must have happened because that person like shut down their channel like the entire channel had got shut down um I never actually tried try to inquire about it I never actually messaged them and be like what happened uh cause, I mean I didn't know them personally or anything um still though it was pretty strange to me that 
they had all the soundtracks for in the game, all music that played, even for like bosses, all music in the game was recorded. And then suddenly one day it was just gone. I was like, what? I, I can try to make my own. I've been making my own for other games as well. But like I said, it is really time consuming to try to um, record music for the games. Um, it, it, it really is time consuming. Um, to do something like that, you, you really do have to have a lot of time on your hands. Um, speaking of which, I'm actually doing my own soundtrack for Dynasty Warriors 9. Um, it's probably the only game that I would try to do, like, soundtrack-wise. Um, just because it's easier for me to do it. For this game, it would be harder because a lot of my, if I did do soundtrack covers, it would just be me pausing the screen like it is right now. But then again, uh, you don't really need to see visuals when it comes to some of this music. Sometimes I try to pause it like on the loading screen, like the loading stage screen, so you can stare at the background. Um, but I feel like it's ruined because with these games, they often give you like tips and stuff on the bottom left of the screen. And I mean, I know it's just music. Sometimes you don't need to watch anything; you just throw it on in the background or something. But it kind of ruins the immersion <laughs> if you're trying to show like a song in a game. And then the entire time you have the song playing and you have the screen pause, it's like displaying, like, use armor to deflect bat attacks. Like, in the bottom the entire time it's saying that, and it's like, what? Um, yeah, but if I was to start my own soundtrack compilation uh, for this game, a lot of uh, them would be caught like this. Um, I think I originally did try doing that. I was doing like 10 minutes of each region. I don't know whatever happened to that. It was something I had started doing and then I had stopped doing it and I can't remember um, what the hell I had did actually. Um, like I just, I can't remember at all what I had did. I really just don't even remember how far I had got with that or what I was even doing with that. I do remember I did try starting one though, but like I said, I don't know what happened to it. Um, I don't know how far I got with those. I might have to re-look them up in my playlist to see what it was I was doing with those, because I do remember doing something similar to that. <sighs> well, like I said, I often start things and then I don't finish them and then I overall just forget what the hell it is altogether and it's, it's quite ridiculous. Um, that probably is it, though. That probably is what happened. I started it, and then I just don't remember it. But like I was saying, there is a trophy you can get um, if you go through a area without using the shrine once. But I kind of screwed that up, considering the fact I already used the shrine. Um, I think it was like a was it like a battle title or. I can't even remember where that would be at. I remember it, I think it's actually a trophy, an unlockable trophy. Um, there was a trophy uh, that was unlockable like that, where you could do that. It says get through a, clear a level or a stage or something without using the shrine once. And I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. I'm 100% sure I screwed that up. That's besides the point, though. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know why I'm using those. I think... Yeah, those are my weaker ones. So this is what I'm wielding here. See, I'm not doing that, by the way. That's my camera, like I told you. It likes to rotate to the left by itself. And there's like literally nothing I can do. I have to like get it to stop doing that. I always have to grab it and wiggle it back. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't know what I would call that. I just uploaded an hour duration of the music that you're hearing now. Because it's not really music. It's like Amnion. It's just background sound. Um, and I had record uploaded a whole hour of it. You know, just for somebody that wants to listen to something in the background, because that's really all it is. It's just for like a whole hour straight. 
sometimes it's soothing. I can actually fall asleep to it, believe it or not. Um, sometimes I'll load up this game and I'll let it sit on my PS4. And I'll have it, like, on the loading screen. Like, the screen, the, the background picture that shows before you go to a stage uh, when it's loading. And I, I let it sit on that and I just, I fall asleep sometimes listening to it. Also, it's kind of like ASMR. Um, if you go to the, her blacksmith, and there's this part where she's she's rubbing like this wired brush, like this um, wired sponge. So that's what it looks like to me. Um, it looks like a wire sponge, and she has a wooden mallet, and she's like rubbing that against the wooden mallet. And it's making like this weird brushing sound. Um, well, she does that. And sometimes I'll leave it on her doing that. It's kind of soothing to me when I hear it. I don't know what my problem is with that. That kind of makes no sense to some people. But um, to me, though, that's what it is. Also, I know I'm wasting a lot of time here. It's just I'm, like, incredibly distracted. That's why I hate trying to work on videos when I'm doing videos. Because then you'll get this. But it gives me a time to talk for a little bit. Like I said, people don't usually watch my Neo videos. Not always. And sometimes I do like to try to chill out for a little bit. Um, so what I'm doing, this is um, the Watcher in the Darkness mission. I've done this mission so many times because Maguichi is one of my favorite characters in this game. He's one of my favorite bosses, actually. Him, Yoshitsugu, and I want to say those are the only two that are my favorites. Like, my favorites to fight. Um, I think I can... Where is that at? Where would that be? Would have to be down here somewhere. Yeah, because these are all the bosses right here. Um... Knowing me, I probably passed it. No, right here. See, Magoichi, Smasher, and Dominator. Like, if you fight him five times or more. I've fought in Yoshitsugu and Magoichi more than five times each. Like, ten times each. And, uh... It's ridiculous. I pretty much have them all for all of them, except for the clone one, because I only ever did it once. Nobunaga Crusher... Without taking a single hit. Like, I've been trying to do some of these, actually. Um, I got the one with Yoshitsugu without taking a single hit. The Magoichi one, I want to try to go for right now. Um, but I don't know how that's going to work, because there are some times where he does land one hit on me, at least. Either he'll shoot me with the rifle or something stupid. Like I said, I can try for it, but there's no guarantee I'm going to get that shit. This is also on Way of the Strong. So it's like one step up from where I, I normally have it. Way of the Demon is very annoying and tedious. And I, that difficulty sucks. Sucks the biggest balls. Also, I noticed by me standing here, wasted all my shit. It's alright. Big damage. Okay, eesh. I died. Roll. He's like, how dare you? Come back here. Ah! Did he just fall through the floor? He was like, see you later! <laughs> Man, what a- what- what the fuck. You know, I kind of wish I was as good at Neo 2 as I am this game. I feel like I'm way better at this one. Neo 2 is like, super hard. I mean, I like a lot of the mechanics. I mean, I like being- having your own custom character, and a lot of the mechanics are better. And they're cool. But I feel like 
since this was my first one, I, it kind of has like a special place to me. Like they say, you always remember your first. Going Grand 566. Yeah, I can see why you died of the Oni though, I can't blame you. He almost got me also, so... One thing I liked about Neo 2 though is um, because your character is the story's different and you're more like a human Oni, you actually get some of the abilities of the Oni that you kill. You get to add their abilities to your own, and I actually liked that. Because you have like, what was it, like R1 or R2 and like square or triangle or X? You had like three other attacks, like what, what you would call like Oni attacks. Um, to help you out. And sometimes when I'm playing Neo 2, I forget that I can use those, and I'm like, shit. I actually like it. I thought it was a neat mechanic. It's cool to be able to use a move that the Oni uses. I used to be a ninja like you to a girl shot me in the neck with an arrow in a cave. I am so close in front of him and he don't care. Notice me too late, my brother. He's like, what? No! Oh. Also, why do I have John Omecha? Oops. <laughs> Don't want to do that. You can hit me from here. Ah! I love the lanterns and the sword in my face. La 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 Fucking Final Fantasy victory fanfare. Son of a bitch. My cannon is too low, the bow was perfect, but... Man, you're never gonna stop that, are you? Hmm... I also have her sister, her sister in Neo 2. I actually like her sister a lot. Uh, Toyo? Like, uh, Tomei's always been my favorite, but I really like Toyo. I'm like torn between the two. I'm like, man, who do I like more? It's really hard to decide. I really do like them both. It's hard to it's hard to see. <laughs> Me too get the oh! Wait, it's actually Mitsuka. Like, found you. That motherfucker up there, oh my god. I thought he could see me from here. He just doesn't care. He's just walking all imposing up there with a Kusari Gama. You don't even care. I hate those things. I heard that. Where? I shot that freaking. What do you call it? And then that guy, the Shigigami. And I heard some guy in the background go, Oh! Huh? Hello. Was it you? He's like, oh shit, she destroyed my paper slave. Man, if you could really summon Shigami, I imagine people just summon them to make them clean their house. They're like, I'm too lazy to clean shit. I'll just summon a Shigami and make them do it. Cool. Can you imagine that? The person who was all about Shigami is like, there'll be alternate, or alternate force in the army, but yet people would just use them to clean their houses.
And it's kind of funny when you think about it. There's somebody like, oh, here's these Shinigami we can put spiritual power into, and and they can help us fight in the war, and yet you have somebody just using it to clean their house. To like, I ain't using it for battle. It's a fucking maid. Yeah, that's really funny. To me, at least. If I remember correctly, wasn't it a Tengu Raven? I like how my gun was freaking out. Did you see it? Look at it. Look at it. Uh, 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 uh. Are you there? You're a Cyclops, actually. The Tengu Raven must be on the Twilight version of this mission. Ah! I can't aim, that's great. Looking right at me. You're looking right at me. What are you doing? Ow! Suzaku. Trying to meet you. Ow! Fuck me sideways, bro. Oh my god. Right in the dick. Since when do Oni have human weaknesses? Tell me, what is this blasphemy? Also, there's another trophy that you get. One for not using any shrines on a mission, and another one for going straight to the boss and skipping everything else. Um, considering I've been fighting everything else, I don't like you that. Um, I fucked that up also. There's a shrine back there. I, I like how I open this door and this guy doesn't notice me. They don't see nothing, do they? Wait, hold on. Can I shoot through one and get the other? Probably not. Oh, I can. Kind of. Not really. Oh, I pray for a world where we have strong candles. I just push that thing over. Oh. Mujina. Well, that was not a... Uh, huh. ah! Fuck me. I still hear you, loser. I can't do it with my twin dragons. I suppose I could. I, I, I have. Ow, thanks for that. That's real great. What a dick. What's it? It's a fire will, isn't it? Or a will mother. No, it's another cycle. Oh. Oh. That was dangerous, right? Ah, <sighs> you're a dick! I've lost the ability to shoot. What a dick. Headshot. Yeah, yeah.
Ah, shit. Don't you come down my stairs, you bastard. Don't you dare come down my stairs. Also, I just noticed there's some Ritza in these. Ah, they're not actually lit by fire at all. What the holy fuck? Or maybe, no, maybe there is torches. It's just the paper inside that looks like stone. Never mind, they are lit by tiny candles. Ooh, I like how every game I play, and where I go in the first person with the with the bow or a gun, depending on how you aim it, the bow will freak out. It's like that in Tomb Raider on my PS3 when I'm aiming around corners and shit. She aims it awkwardly and it moves fucking weirdly. It's weird how that happens. There's a Cyclops godding Magalichi. I wonder, can I get past it? I probably could. Nope. <laughs> uh? Come on, Mago. Oh, you hit me. I, I failed it. Oh, no. No! Get him. <laughs> How's your aiming? Oh my god. The way he holds that sword reminds me of Shishu. He's, he's stuck on... Boy, are you stuck on them jaws over there? Come on. <laughs> Don't fight! Don't! <laughs> oh, I can't take him seriously. Oh, is it? Ah! Yeah, that's... Re re ow. Damn it. You suck! Right in the dick. <laughs> I threw that at the wall, I'm gonna do. Look at him spamming that over there. Stop spamming! Oh, I am. I know I am. <laughs> he loves to spam Yatagarasu. Stop that. Look at that walk. Look at that walk. <laughs> Damn you. So what is it? No, I guess not. <sighs> Bird has Bondo, okay. Uh, 
Oh, they won't let me ragdoll through it anymore. Aww. Aww. Ah, <sighs> God! Screw your tables. Break all the books. Tucker Kage wouldn't be happy about that. So if I remember correctly... Once you complete missions like that, you have free reign over an entire area, and all enemies that were still there when you completed the mission surrender. It's kind of a neat mechanic. It's really, it's like breaking. I can stand inside of him. No, because they can't attack you because you've already completed the mission. So you can like free roam around the entire place. Um, it's it's kind of neat. In its own way, like these fucking fatal frame candle torches, lanterns. It's neat because once you complete an area, if there's stuff that you wanted to go look at, you can. You can just beat the mission and then have free reign. And it doesn't even matter. I don't think, yeah, I see it's zero damage. The little purple zeros. It's always fun if you're if you can't get stuff during a level if it's too hard. Just try to focus on beating it, and then you can go back and ravage through the entire area and pick up stuff that you didn't get before. Elegant fan dancing. <sighs> yeah, I failed that one. I could probably... I probably could get the Magoichi Crusher one where you don't take any damage, but take me a little bit to do that. He shot me and that's what screwed it up. And I knew it would, you know? If we have Neo Mages suffer, there's the blah 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 blah. Eat a side. Eat a side! What's up? To be fair, I could have offered those for the shrine to increase my armor to level, but whatever. If you keep making her say it enough times over and over, almost sounds like she's saying my daddy. I don't know why I would think that's funny. Matados. Matadozo! Whoa! Let me go talk to Danzo or Matsunaga. Let me see, what is it? Watch it. Are we last time I played this, we were like third. Oh, we're third now. We were fourth last time. Sweet. 
My swear and allegiance is to the Date clan, because Masamune is husband of. Alright. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, well there's that. That mission was, uh... Watcher in the Darkness. Alright, well, thanks for watching the video. I'm Sovereign Sage.